a six-year grantee of the year. Let me give you a little bit of Together a program called Breast, Breast Cancer Screening Project for Women with Physical Disabilities. It's a pilot project that was developed and implemented in 2008. During the beginning phases of this project, Marilyn Sebiola, the project director, went out personally to find project sites, learning firsthand the difficulties and rejections that women with physical disabilities face when they're trying to get very much needed in the it took close to six months to find facilities that would be willing to participate. But those of us who know Maryland are not surprised at all to learn that despite numerous obstacles and roadblocks, she had the tenacity and the perseverance to quote unquote gently encourage facilities to make their screening sites more accessible for women with disabilities. And today, because of the hard work and dedication of the ICS team, I am proud to report that ICS now works with three prestigious partners, New York Presbyterian Columbia University's Medical Center Breast Cancer Screening Partnership Program, the Breast Examination Center Carl, a program on Memorial Sloan Academy, and more senior Diagnostic Treatment Center in the South Bronx. Together, ICS and partner staff have created innovative ways to make moderate screening easier by simplifying the process and working to identify solutions that help women with disabilities receive the high quality care they deserve. In its fourth year, the project continues to reduce barriers, advocate for policy change, and they are working to develop a service delivery model for national replication. It is indeed my honor and my pleasure to present the Grantee of the Year Award to the Independent Care System. Um, when we started the program, we knew nothing about 
that for us to answer is we have nothing to do with mammography. We only know, I know from my own experience and from the members of our organization, what it is like for someone like me to get a mammogram and the challenges that they can communicate. And to find a place that they didn't look at you, what I want you to get in the room and as you can uh, you just need to go up high enough and down low enough to accommodate some wheelchair game issue. It's a very guy the front desk where you probably got to go up and see who was taking your information. Um, this became a struggle and a challenge. And um, I cannot tell you how rewarding it is to have partners that have worked with us and now we're beginning to talk about possible research project and we can begin to address these things. But I wouldn't have been able to even begin this program if it hadn't been support from ICS's organization that we work for, which is a long-term care program for people with physical disability. And our objective is to keep able to communicate in the community, not in nursing homes, to live their own lives to they choose to provide support for them. And I got Rick Serpin, who's our president and founder, and Regina Vassella, and I'm reading with me, Mark, my co workers, and dear friends who have. But I really want to take this moment, if it's okay with you, to finish this amazing project that from become the, we call it the access to women's health, breast cancer screening. Would you please stand up, guys?